Good morning, crafters. I'm so excited to be here. I have been down uh, from a surgery, and so that's when I decided to start doing this crafting things because it makes me happy. I don't know about you, but it gets your mind off of things and you can think, and I just love crafting. So today, Kathy is going to do, I don't know what I'm gonna do with a plunger, right? Well, I got it at the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use it for the wood because it's a cheap dowel. And I'm going to begin with sanding this because it came with a sticker, I had to take it off and I didn't want the sticky there. So you just lightly sand that off and the whole piece, and then you wipe off the dust like this. And then I am going to actually try to make this look like a real piece of wood, like a tree trunk. And I would go to burnt sienna, but I couldn't find it this morning. So I'm gonna start with raw sienna because it is a lighter color. Um, and I want to build on that to put in the shading, to put in the, the highlights, which I'm gonna teach you how to do. I love painting. And sometimes you think you can't paint. I thought the same thing, but it's amazing how you can make something look really real and good with just a little practice. So you're gonna do this whole stick until it looks like this. I put it back into the plunger to let it dry. And that way it won't have to sit on anything. And it dries really pretty quick. So I painted down to here and I just screwed it in like one or two times. I didn't want it all the way in there so it would be a little limp. But then you just paint from the bottom up and that way it doesn't go um, sticking onto your paper while it dr dries, but it will be nice and smooth. Even though a piece of wood really, a tree is not smooth, but I want this to be smooth. And I'm not gonna keep the bottom because I might do something, I'm gonna keep the bottom because I might wanna do something with it later. And, and that, because we try to resource about what's around our, our houses a lot of times. Use what we have, right? Okay, now I'm going to begin with the shading. Okay, so first I did the um, raw sienna and I usually like burnt sienna a little better. And now I'm going to go in with a darker one and I'm going to go in with the, the dark brown because that's, a, that's dark. And so we want to look, have this look like wood. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me put my water here so you can see. So I'm going to go into the water and get my brush wet and then I'm going to tap it off on a paper towel. Then with just a corner, I'm going to go into the brown, just a corner. And then you're going to blend it up and down in the same place. So it's just on the corner. And then you're going to use your stick and pretend it is like a piece of wood. I'll try to get this close enough so you can see. And then what we're going to do, because bark on a tree is very rough and it is not straight. So you're going to just use the half and you're going to go down and you can have it swivel back and forth like this and then go back over it and smooth it out. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. You'll see it better when it gets um, dry. But we're gonna do that all over the stick. And I'm doing two trees, so I'll be doing two sticks. So let me do that again. So you're just going to go down and jiggle it, and then down and around, and then go back over it. And if your brush is too dry, just go in your water, kind of damp it onto your paper towel, and then just kind of go like this all over so that it looks like it's not all the same color on your tree trunk. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way down. Then we're gonna go in with a lighter color and um, let's see, I think we'll go into this light cinnamon and I'm gonna do it still the same and I'm just gonna kind of go up and down I know it's hard to see, but wood is not the same color. 
So you just kind of want to have it go through some of the brown so it's not a solid brown going down. And then at the end, we'll do a light one. So basically, I've been, uh, you can see the dark and the light in there. Um, so I put in the lightest color. It was a light mocha. And that will be your, your light for the highlight. So I, as I was painting, I was thinking, how, what's the easier way for you to do this? So I'm just going to pat it on the tip all the way across with the, it was our dark, our burnt umber. And then let's see, I'll put it here. So I'm just going to like pat it like that. See those, can you see the dots here? And then lightly just kind of go off to the side, down around, and you're going to get a color difference in there. I know the brown is hard to see, but it does mix. And then you want highlights to come in. And actually I use black as the opposite. So you're going to pour out your, your black color. Okay, so I poured out the black and the white, and I'm gonna put my, um, it's, this is a liner brush, and I put it in the water to get it a little um, wet, and then you're just gonna swirl around until you have just a little, so it's nice and thin and not just a thick gob. And then you're just going to make a line like black lines through it to give it a more of a contrast. And if you wanna make a knot, I'll show you how to put a knot in a tree trunk. So this is up where it won't show, but I'll show you up here. So you can practice up there. You make one little line and then you go back and forth and then pull a line down. Then to make it even look more like that, you're gonna go into your white the same way as you did the black and you're gonna go on the right side and you're going to just on the side of it like this just go kind of back and forth and then down and see how you can see the highlight and the low light it kind of looks like a knot in a tree but anyway then you're just going to make little lines of black and a white i go down and just kind of do the blacks first and then follow it up with a light oops a light on the side of white and so like I'm just gonna do a white like that and next to this black and here and here and it doesn't have to be straight because this is a piece of wood right so you can go ahead and practice that and if you don't want to do all this just paint it a regular brown and maybe mix another color with it but I just wanted to try to teach you a little step that maybe you'd want to learn in painting if you don't like it, if you made a big mark, you just kind of go through it while it's still wet and blend it out and no one will know you ever did it and then you go back over it again, but that makes it erase. Now, if you want to go like um, beginners, want to just, just go in with your dark and go like this all around, just like that in a circle. And then you want to put some of your light in there too. And then you're just going to go in with your brush kind of dry and then just kind of go up and down in places and it will blend it in. And you won't have that one, two colors. See, this is without the black and stuff. So I just kind of went with the pat it. You can pat it with the dark like this. And just kind of go up and down over your brown. And maybe that's a little easier for you to try out. So just practice with it and see what you want to do. But you're going to learn something new, at least to give a little uh, texture and color into a piece. Okay, so here we are again. We got our sticks. So I'm going to unscrew it so we don't have a plunger anymore. And then I bought these two things um, at TJ Maxx, and they were $16.99, which for these, I think, are, is a good price because they're very expensive if you find them on, online. So this is what we're going to make our topiary with. And so there is a top and a bottom. The top is a little more fluffy. 
and the bottom is a little more straight. And so inside, you'll see there's like, do you see there's like a grate in there? So I'm just gonna cut one of those plastics so that I can get this stick in there. So I'm gonna put it in there. There it is. So I'm just gonna push it in there. Okay, and then we have a tree. So I got these buckets at the Dollar Tree. They had silver and they had the bronze. I like the bronze and this is gonna go on my front porch. And so I went outside and I filled it with rocks because we have lots of rocks and those are free. So I put those in there and then I put the styrofoam inside. Okay, so this will help keep it together. And I'm just gonna shove this down the middle. See if that's the middle. Okay. And I'm just going to glue. See, it's gonna stand over. Actually, what I like to do is put more in there to stuff it in so that it doesn't fall. See, now it's pretty straight. And then you're just gonna take your moss and you're just, you're gonna glue it in there. And then I'm gonna put like um, some ivy coming out of it. So I think it would be a little nicer. All right, so now I got the glue on inside and I'm just gonna start covering all of the little pieces. I like saving the little pieces because then something like this, you need to jam in your, to make it tighter. Okay, so we have that in. Now I'm gonna take, um, I have some ivy just laying around. So I think I'll just take a couple of pieces off and cut it and just start putting things around the sides and fill it in. And if you want, I lost my, oh here. If you want, you can also put in flowers if you want some little cute flowers coming out. I just love topiaries. I don't know why. I just, I love them. I like different shapes of them, like hearts and circles. And so I'll probably talk about different kinds of topiaries because these are fun to make for gifts too. I just, I don't know. It gives a little homesy, nice, niceness to your home. Okay, so when I'm back, stuffing all of these in and having it look a little more realistic with it out. I might even put a, a bow right up here. We'll see, but I'll be back and I'll show you what, what comes about. Okay, so we're walking up to the front door and there's the topiaries, one on each side. And then this is for spring, of course. So I have the spring wreaths and then I have my little boots with flowers. And this was, <laughs> I painted this dog to look like my dog Kiki. And then made that post, you know, to hang our monthly little theme on. And there's our little rabbit with her umbrella for spring and some more. Those were from paper mache and then I painted and put dots. So what do you think of the wreaths? Oh, I mean topiaries. Come on inside, let me show you one more. Okay, I'll show you one more topiary. This one right here. I love this one and I have little lights in it so it lights up at night and little bows on it. And there's Kiki 